Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of an amino acid. You should then be able to describe how amino acids form polypeptides and proteins. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. In the last video we looked at condensation polymers. We saw that these are formed when we react two different monomers. The example we looked at was a polyester. In this video we're looking at how a condensation polymer can be formed from molecules called amino acids. I'm showing you the displayed formula of an amino acid here. This amino acid is called glycine and you are required to know the structure of this. Now the key feature of amino acid molecules is that they have two different functional groups. On the left hand side we've got the amine group and on the right hand side we've got the carboxylic acid group. I'm showing you the structural formula of glycine here and again we can see the amine group and the carboxylic acid group. Now because an amino acid molecule has two different functional groups, they can react to form a condensation polymer. We're going to look at that now. I'm showing you two glycine molecules here. We can react these two glycine molecules together like this. And in the reaction we also form a molecule of water. And that's how we know that this is condensation polymerization. Now the key point here is that we can now react another glycine molecule onto the end like this. And again, as you can see, we've made another molecule of water. We can continue adding glycine molecules to form a polymer. Now, we can represent this reaction in a simpler form like this. The letter N tells us the number of glycine molecules taking part in the reaction. So here I'm showing you glycine molecules reacting to form the polymer. Now, there is one really important point here. Because this polymer is made from only one type of amino acid, we call it a polypeptide. However, you need to understand that there are many different amino acids. I'm showing you two different amino acids here, but I should point out that you don't need to know these. The key point is that all of the amino acids have the two important functional groups. In other words, the amine group and the carboxylic acid group. That means that they can form condensation polymers, just like we saw with glycine. So I'm showing you here a number of different amino acids combined into the same polymer chain. When we combine different amino acids into the same chain, then we now call the polymer a protein. And again, you need to learn that. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on amino acids in my Vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.